Welcome again. Uh, this is Manandar Singh Sambi. I'm a vice president at Google Cloud. Uh, really excited about the innovations that we're bringing here at Cloud uh, Next. Uh, one of the things that we have focused on is network security. As many of you have seen in my session, we talk about the innovations that we're bringing from a protective workload, which starts off with Cloud Armor, our AI ML product that is used for global front end, uh, protecting against DDoS attacks, WAF rules, etc. We also introduced Cloud NGFW last year, which was predominantly to protect VM to VM traffic or VM to internet traffic, being able to detect it against um, both exploits, vulnerabilities, and malware. And we have released some third party reports of 20x better efficacy than any of the other uh, providers that are there today. Now, <clears throat> one of the things we also wanted to focus on is DNS, because DNS is the first point of prevention and detection for any type of attacks. Historically, we've actually seen a lot of these attacks, whether you look at SolarStorm, whether you look at Log4j, where DNS was actually used to exfiltrate data, as well as being able to do command and control. Now, in order to solve this problem, it's not easy. We're really excited to have Scott Harrell, who's the CEO of Infoblox. We've been really partnering with Infoblox in order to provide DNS security. Scott, can you share a bit about Infoblox expertise in DNS security and why this partnership is so significant? Well, first off, uh, thanks for having me here, Meninder. We are super excited to partner with Google and on, on this new innovations we're bringing to market around DNS. DNS, from a security apparatus, is one of the most critical controls you can have. If you look at some, some data from the NSA, they'll tell you 92% of malware attacks leverage DNS. We take advantage of that, and we actually turn that back on the, on the, competi I mean, on the attackers themselves. Infoblox, the way we approach the problem, we stop zero day threats on average 63 days before any other security solutions even know those threats exist, with near zero false positives. We do this by taking a, a fundamentally different approach than the rest of the industry. We focus on the threat actor's DNS infrastructure and are complementary as a result to all the other security solutions that, that a customer may be using, and we can even help improve a lot of those solutions' efficacy overall. Wow, 63 days ahead of anyone else being able to detect a DNS attack. And we've seen how many DNS attacks have happened. Now, DNS armor, obviously, you know, one of the big things is about continuous monitoring of outbound DNS queries to detect and block threats in real time. Like, how does DNS armor get powered by some of the capabilities that your company is bringing? Yeah, DNS armor is taking the right approach. They're taking a preemptive approach, blocking these threats before they materialize. We at Infoblox have a team of dedicated uh, DNS threat researchers leveraging the latest advanced AI techniques to find and track things in DNS that nobody else does. This helps us uh, integrate and power DNS armor in a way that provides that 63 days of protection on average before you know, anybody else sees a threat. We can do that for 75.4% of the threats uh, before the first query ever happens. So before there's even a, ever a DNS call out, we can already start blocking. Within the first 24 hours, that goes up to 82%. And we do that with a 0.0002% false positive rate. All of that uh, knowledge, all of that experience is coming into DNS Armor and is gonna allow DNS Armor to be a best of breed DNS detection service. Wow, and in security, there should not be a product which is not best of breed. <laughs> Absolutely, you don't wanna trust anything that's not. That's not. Um, <clears throat> security is all about efficacy. And I think one thing that, uh, Scott, you talked about the 63 days ahead of advance, the very low false positives, because we see that a lot with many other tools where they have deployed it in their environment, but all this false positives coming in, it's hard for any SOC to actually process and, and, and validate. And then you can't trust the alerts. When you get a lot of false positives, you chase a lot of things you shouldn't, and that's how attackers slip through. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> obviously, from an enterprise, as enterprises face and, and start growing from a cloud security perspective, risks that need to be taken into account, more proactive solutions have to be brought in. What are some of the biggest challenges organizations face that DNS Armor was designed to solve? Yes, uh, DNS Armor solves three major challenges. Uh, if you think about uh, speed, you mentioned attackers and kind of their behavior. Well, when an attacker actually is successful and they will eventually uh, have a breach, you only have 60 minutes, basically is what the industry kind of says, to detect investigate and contain before that what can sometimes be a simple breach becomes a very, very serious problem. By leveraging DNS, you can become preemptive 
um, and your protection, and you can actually speed up your whole organization and lower the amount of uh, tax that get through, and therefore uh, your chance of success goes way up. The second thing is uh, attackers are starting to use AI themselves, and they're going to uh, morph the malware. They're going to have infinite variants. They're going to actually have malware that's, that's uh, adaptive and self-instructed. The ability to use DNS, it doesn't care because at the end of the day, that malware still has to use DNS to communicate. And we will still be able to spot them, we'll still be able to stop them, and so you're also prepared for the next generation of what's going to happen from a security point of view. And lastly, but probably the most important thing is, uh, is complexity. We make things much simpler with DNS Armor. It's natively integrated, and most companies are going to have to struggle with trade-offs they have to make inherently in security operationalization. So when they go to deploy security, a lot of times they're not going to deploy the best of breed because maybe it's too hard to do, it's too hard to implement. Uh, you know, the combination of Google and Infoblox together, uh, natively integrated in the cloud, helps solve that problem. Yes. Now, Google Cloud's global network combined with the Infoblox threat intelligence makes security more accessible. And one of the things I think you talked about, which uh, will resonate a lot with our uh, providers here or the, our customers here, is, is, is about this has to be de facto. Yeah. Like, if you are running a DNS service within cloud and you're having outbound requests that are going in, uh, we would highly recommend you to turn this capability on if you are trying to protect your DNS request, trying to make sure there's no PI information that's leaking, as well as being able to provide any or stop any C2C type of attacks. Now, what would you say makes this collaboration between Infoblox and Google Cloud so powerful? I really think it comes back to taking the, some of the best of breed DNS intelligence we have and integrating it natively in Google Cloud, which eliminates a, a huge degree of complexity for our customers. Um, this really gives them the, the what they're after, which is an extremely powerful uh, DNS security solution that's super simple to deploy and protect every workload and make no compromises. So no need of here's pinning your traffic, stitching it in a fancy way, trying to redirect DNS traffic to a different uh, appliance versus firewall traffic is being sent. This is natively uh, very well integrated. Now AI and automation will drive the next evolution of DNS security. What do you think, like how are we committed to uh, solving for that? So when we're working together, our teams are really excited um, because obviously Google's doing a lot of leadership in AI, but also the, the, the data that you, that you have and the amount of information you see allows us jointly to actually invest in new models, new detection methods, and really drive a higher degree of efficacy as we go through time. And we're going to apply the latest and greatest AI capabilities to that to make sure that the efficacy of the solution continues to exceed by a mile anything else that's on the market. Wow. Now, <clears throat> DNS Armor is a game changer. It's an instrumental, foundational element of anything to do with network security in the cloud. And as customers who are looking to expand and get the best of breed capability, uh, want to be able to secure the workload, secure the data, and secure the user, should definitely have a DNS security architecture or a solution as part of it. And we are excited about the launch, and hopefully, you know, there's other things that we can also do. Absolutely. Uh, Infoblox and Google, Google Cloud are making DNS easy to consume, easy to deploy, uh, easy to, to, to manage and monitor, and the journey is just beginning. Yes. So DNS Armor is a game changer in cloud security. <clears throat> you cannot really have network security without having to protect DNS. And we're really pleased to announce our DNS Armor capability in partnership with uh, Infoblox that is now going to be launched at Google Next. Uh, yeah, we're super excited as well. Infoblox and Google Cloud are making uh, proactive DNS easy to adopt, easy to consume, easy to manage and deploy, and the journey's just beginning. Yes, and for our viewers, <clears throat> network security, we've come a long way at Google Cloud, and highly recommend when you think about network security in the context of protecting your workload, your data, and user, DNS is fundamental to protect. As you've heard from Scott, the type of attacks the type of efficacies that are needed to ensure that DNS is protected. DNS Armor, we are really excited about it. This is the start of a journey. We are looking forward to many more innovations to come.